back, relax and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about them. Hi guys! So I'm here today to review two books that are both science fiction that I recently read and that is these two. The first one is Central Station by Lavi Tidhar. This one was originally a collection of short stories that was then put together and sort of reworked into a novel. And the second one is The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury which was originally published in 1951. So this one is quite a lot older. I'm gonna start off with Central Station because I didn't, I didn't really like this one that much guys. I'm sad to say that I didn't really like this one much. I ended up buddy reading this with Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings and we had a good time talking about it because what I do think Lavi Tidhar does really well is ideas. I think he is one of the most interesting original people that I've read because I think he's very good at manipulating old tropes into something very new. He's really great at kind of welcoming you into the story and getting you hooked with interesting ideas. I don't think the ideas were a problem in this book, that's what I'm saying. I think there are lots of really great moments that felt really considered and felt really interesting and definitely kept me reading the book. But the problem I do have, and I think it might be because it was originally short stories, is that it felt so disjointed and it felt very much like it didn't really have a direction, which I kind of think it didn't. We focused largely on this place called Central Station, which is on Earth, but it's set in a very futuristic Earth. There's robots, there's people who can project themselves into this other consciousness. Um, like gamers can go into the gaming world and this sort of computer system in their heads. So there's a lot of futuristic technology and people have intergalactic space travel. So there can be people who just go on like trips to Mars and come back and whatnot. So it's very much futuristic, but I think the problem I had with this was it started out really intriguing and it felt very similar to Perdido Street Station in the way that it drew me in and it kept me excited, but then it just never really paid off on the character side of things. I felt like the world building was gradual and we did get a sense of what Central Station is. It's like this hubbub of complete diversity and madness and really interesting characters but they just never really get developed to a point where I could emotionally connect with them or where I could feel like I was invested in their storylines. And even though there were moments where I felt sorry for them or I was intrigued by what was going to happen, I just don't feel like their story went anywhere. I feel like there are a lot of peculiar things that happened that I just didn't really get why. I felt like it could have been used better as a narrative. But I don't know if he was aiming for a narrative necessarily. I think he was aiming more for ideas and building up the world. And he definitely does that. So for me, this didn't really work. I did like the kind of weird twist on vampires that he put into the book. And I did like the futuristic setup. But the characters just let this down and the direction of the story let it down for me. So by the end of the book, I was just kind of relieved to have it over with. It wasn't the worst thing I've read by any means and I do like his ideas so I may read more Tidhar in the future because I have read this and I've read his Bookman History series but I preferred the Bookman History series because that is a steampunk series and it did at least have a bit more direction than this whereas I don't feel like this really did. So I gave this two stars. It was okay. The second one that I read was more promising and that was this one, Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles. I definitely feel like I'm not very well versed in sort of older science fiction at all. I have only really read a few and this was kind of my foray into Ray Bradbury. I've never read any of his books before now. So I picked this one up super cheap and it kind of fell apart on me. The book is literally breaking at the seams because it's so old, but I bought it secondhand so that's fine. And this was actually really interesting. It follows Mars and it follows Mars from the years 1999 through to 2026 when it's being colonised by different groups of people from Earth. So we follow different kind of waves who are visiting Mars' surface and hoping to land there and maybe build up a culture or see if there's aliens there. And it's obviously written in a time where technology wasn't what it is today. So it's very interesting to think about how Ray Bradbury saw things possibly going. The different concepts that he came up with, each wave of humanity met something very different on the surface of Mars. The first wave meets this sort of alien race and ends up 
basically being ignored by them. The second wave ends up being killed. The third wave is where things start to get a bit crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean literally they get locked up in a crazy asylum. But from then on, it just becomes something so weird and interesting and thought provoking. And I kind of feel like this book is what I wanted the Central Station book to be because it's full of ideas and it doesn't really ever connect you just to one character. It follows a whole range of different characters and each of them has their own sort of timeline where they're meeting Martians or they're landing on Mars or they're trying to build up an infrastructure or anything like that. So each of these different characters and crews is doing something different but what it does have is a whole host of really wacky ideas about what could happen and it's super imaginative, it's definitely something that I think holds up quite well by today's science fiction standards. Um, I went into it with fairly low expectations I think because I wasn't sure if it was going to be my thing although I've heard great things about Bradbury so I hoped it would be good but yeah I definitely didn't have like super high expectations and I think it did really intrigue me and make me super excited for where it was going to go. I do feel like it never really went into a story narrative, it just focused mostly on ideas and focused mostly on random kind of things that could happen, which I like but I would have liked a bit more direction or a few more characters that we could follow for longer. In terms of plot and pacing, I do think this was actually quite an easy book to get into, easier than I expected. It's very approachable sci-fi because it's not hugely focused on like gears and gadgets, it's much more focused on people and how they interact with one another and the things that they misconstrue about one another, that's a large part of this book. So I definitely found it fascinating in that element. And I do think it's a read that I would recommend, even if you are not a big science fiction reader, because I think it's just really interesting to go back and read things that sort of started off the genre, which we now have today with crazy spaceships and stuff, because this is definitely a thought provoking book, if nothing else. So I ended up giving this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars, and I do think it's a really fascinating little read much better, unfortunately, than the more modern Central Station, which just didn't work for me. Although I do know a few people who have read this and enjoyed it, but it just really didn't work for me and Mercedes. So yeah, I would love to hear if you're going to be picking up either of these, or if you've read them already, what you thought of them. Um, obviously this one's been out for a while, but this one's been out for a, a good while as well now. I think it's been about a year. So let me know in the comments below if you're going to read either of them, what you thought of them. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you for watching a video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.